on mycelium, and this is three days worth of growth on the grains, but it was a little too moist. When it's moist, you'll get this cobweb on your mycelium, and instead of throwing it away, give it a shot with, watch this with peroxide. When you put peroxide on, it will dissolve the cobweb. See it dissolve almost instantly? But it won't hurt the mycelium if you don't overdo it. But it'll dissolve that cobweb right off. And it'll give you a second shot at your... Are you so guys seeing it? why do you it? think this cobweb uh, formed on here, Vicki? Cobweb forms when you have too much moisture. So you put the lid on, maybe you shouldn't have yesterday? Yeah, I put the lid on to... Did you water it yesterday it before you put the lid on, maybe? No, but you know our greenhouse waters everything with the drops off the roof. Mm -hmm. We got really high 90 plus humidity in there. Cobweb mold today on my mycelium in a couple spots. Number one best thing to do for it is squirt it down with some plain old hydrogen peroxide that you can buy at the grocery store. Just take the peroxide and squirt it on. Dissolves it instantly. Won't hurt the mycelium. We'll maybe slow it down for a day or two, but it'll grow right back. Next, you're going to take some vermiculite or peat moss. Dry. Dry. And sprinkle it in there. You usually get cobweb mold or any kind of mold from too much moisture. You've over misted and over watered. So I'm going to sprinkle this vermiculite down. Check again in 12 hours. If you see any cobweb mold, check under your substrate where your mycelium is growing. I've sprinkled some peat moss and vermiculite on the bottom there. But check in there. Your mycelium will continue to grow. But you got to dry it out. So check again in 12 hours. I've had really good results with this, and I've only gotten it when I've overwatered. My greenhouse, as you can see, is very moist, very high in humidity, so I've had to deal with cobweb a lot.